Today I'm going to be sharing with you the number one tip to guarantee you can increase your swing speed, hit the ball further, and increase your overall power in your golf swing. Now this is something that pretty much every single player, elite golfer in the world, and the most powerful players, Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, Dustin Johnson, Bryson DeChambeau, they all do this in their golf swings, and I'm going to be sharing it with you guys. So first of all, let's take a look at Tiger Woods' golf swing. Now, Tiger's here set up with driver. I'm gonna show you this with Tiger and a few other tour pros as well. By the way, guys, if you are new here, remember, hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear what you have to think. So here, let's play through Tiger's swing once and let's see if you can pick up on it. Let's see what you think overall of this golf swing at first look. I'd love to know, what do you think this tip is going to be? Pretty great swing from Tiger. I think he's swinging it best he ever has done recently. So let's play through it again and see if you can pick up on it. Now, I'll give you a clue. You have to be looking at a golf swing from this angle to be able to see it. You can't really see it as well from a down the line view. Now let's slow it down and really take a look and I'll tell you exactly how you can increase your swing speed, hit the ball further, increase your power, and how Tiger is doing it here. So as we look at Tiger's golf swing, notice how the club head is staying incredibly wide as he takes the club away. It's a huge, huge, huge wide circle. It's very, very late wrist set. As we pause it at the top, it's a beautiful position here, and then as he unwinds to the bottom, it stays on this huge wide arc and through to the finish as well. And this is how you can create more power in your golf swing. Let's play this through a few more times and I'll talk you through what Tiger's doing here. If we think about the golf swing from this angle as being a circle, if a circle is spinning around and moving, what is the fastest part of that circle? It is, of course, the outside of the circle is moving the fastest. If you have a smaller circle and a bigger circle rotating at the same speed in the center axis, the smaller circle, the circumference, the outside, will be rotating at a lower speed to the bigger circle. How can we apply this to the golf swing and how is Tiger applying it to his golf swing here? Well, if we think of Tiger's swing as a circle here, the wider Tiger can keep the club away from his body, his pivoting axis, the faster it's going to be going. If you think about it, it's quite simple. The wider we keep the club away, the faster the club head is going to be moving when we're rotating. If we think about our body being the middle of the circle, the club head being the outside, we want to be keeping that club head as far away from our body as we basically can be. Now, I'm not saying to disconnect the arms from the body, you want to have really good connection, but if we watch Tiger as he takes the club away here, he has great connection with the arms and the body, but he hinges the right elbow and his wrists very, very late in the golf swing, keeping a bigger circle than on the way down. It looks like it's a smaller circle, but actually that's just because the club is shallowing out. And then as he swings through, he's keeping the width on the follow through as well. Now this is something that 99%, if not 100% of amateur golfers do completely wrong. The, our, our instinct is that we want to hit the ball, right? And our instinct tells us that we want, in order to hit the ball and to hit the ball hard, we need to be swinging our arms and our hands as fast as possible. This means we tend to hinge our right elbow a lot, hinge our wrists a lot, keep our hands very close to our body, even sometimes hinge our left arms, and you know it's actually not a very effective way to play golf. It's not going to create a wide consistent arc. There's another reason we want a lot of width in the golf swing too. If we have a look, let's have a look at Xander Schauffele, one of the best young players really in the game at the moment. 
And as we have a look at his swing here, again, we can see it's a huge, huge, wide, late set with the wrist and huge, wide swing. If you look at that club head, that is really, I mean, it's almost touching the outsides of the frame of this image. And, you know, if you think about how small he is in the middle, he's creating a huge, wide arc, a huge, wide circle, creating a huge amount of power. Xander is not a very big or tall guy, so, but he hits the ball a long way and he does that by using that does that leverage system bit effectively really really well but there's another reason just other than power that we want to be doing this if we want to think about the golf swing about the golf ball on the ground in order to strike the golf ball consistently we effectively need to be having very good very good control of our low point in the golf swing so effectively we want to be coming down into the ball at one a consistent angle of attack which controls our spin rate and two a consistent low point in the golf swing now the wider the arc of the golf swing and if we're keeping our body central that is how you create a consistent low point and a consistent angle of attack if we're coming down too narrow too steep we're going to create a lot of spin hit the ball very high or very low depending on how you release it and it's basically not gonna work very effectively. We're gonna hit the ground first, we're gonna hit the ball like thin. It's not going to work very, very effectively. This is honestly something I'm working on personally in my game at the moment. It's a lot easier said than done, trust me. But the way I like to feel it, how I feel this in my golf swing, I want to explain to you because it could help you if you get the same feels and you know it's easy to know what we should do but it's actually much more difficult to get our bodies to do it so how i personally like to feel this in my golf swing is i like to feel effectively like the club head i'm trying to keep the head of the club as i take it back as far away from my body as i can throughout the whole swing and for me i'm trying to get the feeling like i basically don't hinge my wrists at all if I do it very, very late, obviously I am going to, it's natural, you just will, the momentum of the club is moving that way. But for me, I feel like I have as wide a swing arc on the way back with as little wrist set as possible. And again, on the way down, try and keep a huge wide arc with the club head, meaning it's gonna come through a lot shallower too. Now there's another few feels you can get to do this, depending on if you're right-handed, left-handed, which hand is dominant in your own golf swing and how your body works. You can get the feeling like you're trying to keep your right hand as far away from your right ear as possible. If you think about the golf swing, if I was very narrow here, my right hand's quite close to my ear. If I'm pushing that away and being quite wide, that right hand has obviously gone a lot further away from my right ear or from my head. That's a possible feel you can get if you like to feel the club in your right hand more than your left. If it's a left hand, you could get the same feeling. I'm trying to keep my left hand as far away as possible as well. Just try not to get it too deep on the way back. Try and keep it in front of you. Now, there's a lot of training aids as well out here that can help you with this. And I will be doing you guys some more videos with training aids and other things to help you get create consistent feels with things like this in your golf swing and other things that you guys can work on as well so make sure you are subscribed to the channel do give this video a like i hope you have enjoyed it i hope you have learned something from it i just did a video as well where i gave you guys some swing tips which were given to me from Tiger Woods actual golf coach. So I highly recommend you guys check out that video on my channel as well. Thank you so much for watching this guys. As always, I'll see you in the next one and grip it and rip it.